We, we do something called pulling down the heavens. The Chinese moves all have names. Um, so what we're going to do is we want to set our mind, getting it ready for our training. So you're going to come up, you're going to pull your hands up, you're going to breathe in, pulling energy from the earth, gather energy from the sky, and as you breathe out, you're going to compress. First you're going to expand yang energy, and then compress, push it through your body, spiral, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, we'll do one more, breathe in, expand everything up, look up, gather the energy and then compress. So expanding is yang, compressing is yin. All right, so what we're going to do is going to do a breathing exercise. This is the first time we've done this on the class here. So. People who like things, I'll try to sit in the middle here. Okay, uh, so it's, it's called bellows breathing. It's uh, it's a yoga movement, but uh, we're going to add some some qigong arm movements to it. What what you're going to do is you're going to be breathing it out with your diaphragm. You're going to be pushing the air out. So uh, the person who taught me this said you might want to get a Kleenex because we're going to be pushing the air out now. That little piece of paper you get when you get drugs from this is uh, what that is, which is if you're pregnant, you shouldn't be doing this. If you have like high blood pressure. Um, so what you're going to do if you have or if you've just had an abdominal surgery or, or uh, you, you, you don't want to uh, necessarily do this. So what you're going to do while we do this is you're going to uh, relax um, and you're just going to put your hands on your knees. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go forward a little bit. You know, trying to move back so you can see. One. Move forward a little bit so our you're not slouched, so you're straight. We want to get into a good meditation position. Your feet are going to be go up to the edges and go at 45. You want to do this usually like when you're sitting on the ground and things. This opens up your pelvic area. You want energy to be able to flow between your upper and lower body when you're meditating or doing any movements. Okay, so your feet are going to be at 45, your, your knees are going to be at 45, and your feet are going to be pointing out 45. When we breathe, we normally do what's called abdominal breathing. You want to be doing this all, all the time, which is instead of <laughs> breathing with your chest, which happens as we naturally, as we get older, we tend to be, breathe with our breath. When we're a baby, we breathe with our whole body, in particular our abdomen, so you want to when we're rejuvenating, you want to go back to that. So you're going to breathe in. You just put your thumbs in your um, navel. You want to breathe in. Your lower, your abdomen comes out. Breathe out. Just relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so we're just going to do it one more time here. You want your you want your spine to be straight. You want to be holding an apple in your chin that's going to straighten your head. You want your, your neck and your spine to be in the same line. And we'll just do, this is the relaxation. We, we breathe, this is called natural breathing. There's many kinds of abdominal breathing. So you breathe in. Your stomach goes out. You want to actually see if you can expand. Like you've got a balloon here, so rather than just have your stomach go in and out, you want to see if you can press against your kidneys too. So breathe in, expanding that whole area. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so that's called natural breathing. That's what you use. We normally do that in our practices here um, because that's relaxing. It, it calms your nerves. We're trying to get rid of anxiety in our daily life. But this, we're going to, what are we doing? Oh, so we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, breathing. Your hands are going to come up and we're going to stretch. You're going to breathe in. And then when we breathe out, it's forceful. So you're squeezing this. So it's going to be... <laughs> 
and you're breathing out through your nose. So you're reaching up, expanding. <laughs> So this is trying to stimulate our, our internal organs and get energy going. So what we're going to do is, got to set my clock ahead of time. We're going to do it for, for 30 seconds, three rounds of 30 seconds. So set a timer here. Okay, so... Here we go, let it go. <laughs> Hands expand, and then when you come down, you make a fist. So we're going to do for for going to do five breaths. Sorry, we're going to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do five breaths. So your hands are here. Now we're going to do natural breathing. We're going to breathe in, breathe out. Just relax, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and then one more, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, we're going to do another 30 seconds. So we're going to reach out. Reach. Our hands come down. Like their goal post. <laughs> Expand, hands open, <laughs> closed. <laughs> we put our hands on our legs. You can take five breaths. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, relax everything, just feel the energy, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so you can do one more set, so you reach up. <laughs> Reach. Okay, now we're just going to do three breaths this time. Relax, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so. The idea of this is, once again, we're trying to squeeze our, our internal organs. We're breathing out quickly. We're trying to get a little energy going. You can do this whenever you're, like, if you get first get up in the morning, you can wake yourself up with it. Or if you're having a low period during the day, you can do it. You can 
we did 30 seconds, but if you, after you do it for a few times, you do it, say, 10 times each, take three breaths, 10 times each, do several cycles, and that, that should get the energy going. Now, what we usually do in the class, which we'll do now, is once again to get the, um, to start the class, we usually do three movements that open up our, our meridians, get the energy flowing, and get our body warmed up so we don't hurt ourselves for the rest of the practice. So the first one is called Shake the Nine Gates. So you're shaking your hands. We're trying to get blood to go out to our fingertips. So the nine gates are your hip, knee, ankle, shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and upper, lower, and middle back. So obviously this is just doing the arms, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start bouncing. You bounce with your whole body, so really loose. Your hands are still shaking, but that's because your body's shaking. You're bending your knees slightly, opening everything up, just be really loose. Back straight, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back and forth. So now what we're trying to do is you wanna keep your head straight, your, your spine straight, you're trying to warm up. This is like squeezing, wringing out our internal organs, getting them getting um, a little bit, sticking this out, loosening them up, getting some flow going. And now what we want to do is warm up our neck so we can get more blood to our brain, plus we want to activate our brain by using our eyes. So what you can do is get a turn and pick a point and look hey, on each side. It's really loose, opening everything up, and then you're going to bring your hands up. Throw, throw the energy out and then just breathe in. Do your abdominal breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, the second warm-up movement that we do is going back and forth. So now, once again, we're trying to get the stickiness out of our internal organs and to, once again, warm up our neck, where our chin follows our shoulders, our hands are going back and forth loose, they can hit under your ribs. There's liver 14, we're trying to activate, put a little energy into our internal organs, and now to use our mind, we pick a point and you focus. In Qigong, you use your eyes to, to, to build up your, your brain. So pick a point and focus as soon as you turn focus and then as you get warmed up, you have the flexibility, move the points closer together. And then if you can, just use one point, so you're doing a 360 degree turn, it's fine if you can't, whatever your current level of flexibility is. But this is Dragon Shakes Its Whiskers. And then the last one we're, we're trying to do, we'll do, actually do two more, we'll do, the next one is, we're, we're trying to stretch our meridians and massage our internal organs by we're going to reach in one direction and squeeze it, squeezing the internal organs here, and it's lifting the rib cage off, letting fluids flow in. You're going to come up, you're going to stretch as much as you can, and then this can comes over, and it's like you're in a doorway. You're pressing the door jams on each side, so you're going this way because we're trying to lift our rib cage and stretch that whole meridian on that side. Breathe in, breathe out, and then you can look down at the floor. Breathe in, up, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more each side, breathe in, breathe out, push, and breathe in, breathe out. Now put your feet a little bit further apart. What we're going to do is we're going to post from side to side. This is a, a Tai Chi exercise, actually. Your feet, in Tai Chi, it's feet, waist, hands. So your feet are pointing your waist, moving your waist. So you're going to do hip, knee, and ankle are straight. And that's all the further you go. So your feet are a little further apart. Your head's staying at the same level. You're posting. We call this posting back and forth. So you don't want to overdo it. You're going to hurt your knee. Plus, 
If you were in Tai Chi, now you'd be off balance. If somebody pushed you, you'd fall. So you're here, your your weight is is in your feet. So you're going back and forth. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same exercise. You're gonna pose, but now you can either stay with the one we were doing or you can post and you lift up the other foot so your toes off the ground, hand comes over and you're pushing and now you're looking at that toe. You come open up, you post to the other side, lift up your toe and you're not twisting. We're trying to open up the spine so your, your back still stays against the, the wall. So no twisting, we're leaning over and looking down. So this is like the next level of that uh, crescent pose that we're doing. Lean. Do two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right. So we're, um, it's the summer season, so we're trying to get work our arms and we're trying to get blood to go to our arms so we're going to start out by just moving our arms so one way we get blood to go someplace is just by this is kind of throwing it's it's as if we were doing this right so you know with a pail we're throwing the blood getting the blood to flow out to our fingertips we want the blood to move out to our extremities because as we age it withdraws that's why we have a lot of problems with our feet, hands, and ankles, and wrists as we get older first, because so we've got to get the blood to go back there. So this is level one. So now you want to start using your knees a bit. So you're kind of get, throwing it. So it gives a little more vigor. Two more. So now. What we're going to do is we're going to do the yin and yang. You're, when your hands close, that's yin. Open up, that's yang. And plus all the meridians in your finger, half your meridians start and end in your fingertips. So what we're going to do is we're going to flick as you go out. So here, close and then flick. And you can do doing the same thing. So when you're flicking when you get up. It's adding, once again, our hips are still going up and down, but we're adding a little flick, once again, getting blood to go out to our hands. Right, now we're going to use our whole body. This is, since it's the summer, we're trying to warm up our body. So what you're going to do is you're going to flick and then leave your hands here. And what you're going to do is you're going to start flicking. Okay, so now what you want to do is, as you flick, you want to go up on your heels. Or if you can't, you can, if you're worried about your balance, you can just use your, your knees, but otherwise you can go up and flick. All right. So now, the last part, <laughs> you can stay which one, at whichever level you're comfortable at, but you want to, we're trying to do, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to feet together, we're going to flick, and as we flick, we're going to go up and down. So it's a speed form, so you can even, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thir
Qigong, we normally do stretching things, but today we're, we're this is kind of a power lesson, so we're going to do um, a movement with our hands. So your hands are going to come up, and then they're going to close. Right here, we're making a tiger's claw. So what we're going to do, I'll do the movement for us once to see what you're doing. You're going to come up, you're going to breathe in, you're going to pull your hands in, you're going to breathe out, you're going to push back. This is like working your triceps. And you're going to come back, you're going to make a fist, you're going to breathe in. This is all for your up, power for your upper body. Then breathe out. Then breathe in. Put your hands up. Push this time. And you're going to come up. Breathe in. Breathe out. This is stretching on the sides. You're pulling down. And then your hands are going to come in. Breathe in. And then come down, reach up, and breathe out. So we're doing six different movements. So we're starting here with our tiger. This is, I'll show you from the side. You're pulling in, and now you're reaching back, and you're pulling your hands up. So if you have shoulder problems, just go any, you should not feel any pain. So if you have any kind of body problems, just go to what's ever comfortable. But we're, it's as if we're doing dynamic tension, so you're not just throwing your arms back. You're, it's like you're pushing something back. And you're going to pull your hands in, and then you're going to pull up. You're pulling forward, so that's breathe in, and then breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now make your tiger claws again. You're going to pull in. Breathe in. And then you're going to push this time like you're pushing away a heavy cart. Now you're going to make your fist again. You open everything up. And then you're going to come up. Breathe out. Sorry. We're here after this. You still have your tiger claw. You're going to come up, come down to the sides. Then you're going to come in, open everything up. Your hands are going to come down and come up. And you're going to breathe out. So here we go. So tiger claws, breathe in, pull back, breathe out, triceps. Breathe in, fists. Pull in. Once again, it's like you're pulling against rubber bands. Then breathe in, tiger claws, pull back, breathe out. Let your hands come up over your head. Breathe in. Now you're doing the sides. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Hands come to your chest. Fist out. Breathe in. And then breathe in and breathe out. Your hands coming down. You're lifting two very heavy weights coming up over your head. And then you're going to breathe out. Now you've got a ball and you're trying to push the ball under the water. You just do two more sets. So starting here, breathe in. Breathe out. This is for upper body strength. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Push. Breathe out. You're pushing a heavy cart away. Come up. Breathe in. You're scratching the walls, pulling down. Come in. Breathe in, breathe out, come up, breathe in, and then push down, breathe out. Like I said, normally we do stretching, but uh, we're, this week we're doing strengthening movements, so breathe in, 
Work on your triceps. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Open up, pull the shoulder blades together. Come down. Breathe out. Then come up to the heavens. Breathe in and then push a ball. Forceful, so breathe out. Come back. Pull on the heavens once. Breathe in. Breathe out. So that. So you're going to breathe in and then breathe out. Then you're going to come back. Then you're going to turn your hands over. You can breathe in, breathe out. Make your claws again. Once again, breathe in, breathe out. And then we're coming up, so you can breathe in, breathe out. You make your fist, breathe in, and then breathe out. You can come down, your hands are open, then breathe in, your hands are up, and then breathe out as you go down. So this is just the first level. We're trying to just get the memorization of it. Each of these um, is actually, there's six elements. There's five elements in Chinese medicine, but there's actually six elements, which is the sixth element is the qi. And so this is, um, uh, you're starting out with metal. So in, you're good, you, you make a sound, there's a sound with it, which is hiss. So for metal, it's hiss. And then you're going to come up after metal makes water. So water is chew, so it would be That's your water. Water makes wood. Wood makes fire. Ah. Uh, Fire makes ash, which is earth, so that it's oh. And finally, they all make chi, so you come up. I did want to know if you could repeat what each sound and element pair was. Okay, so. Particularly the wood sound. Okay, so um, someone wanted. Was there something else? Uh, and the last cheese sound. Okay, so someone wanted to know about the sounds. You can go, actually you can go on the site. I believe we have a, an entire thing on the sounds, but the the sound the sounds for um, the sound for metal is you can think of uh, putting a drop of water on a hot metal. That's hiss, and that goes with that that. Um, goes with your lungs, so it would be like that's your lung, that's metal. Um, water condenses on metal, so that's the next one, how you go through the cycle of, of the thing. So metal, water condenses on metal, so the next element is water, um, and that's chew. So in this case, you, you don't have to do it with the movement, but you know you could, but you can just like do the metal. You take it up, and... in this case, in this form, it's C H U U U. Okay, so wood gro wood grows out of water, so wood is. Uh, uh, sh uh, sh she, so it's 
Sorry, yes, yeah. Shh. Then fire comes up. Fire is the heart. Um, liver, liver, um, liver goes with wood. Heart goes with fire, and that's ah, uh, which would you would expect ah. Uh, so that would be ah. Uh, and then fire makes earth. Earth is in your stomach, so that's oh. The sounds kind of go just like with your heart. You go ah. Uh, so with your stomach, if there's a problem, you go oh. So that's the sound from the stomach. And finally comes energy. It's the fire from the sky. There's two kinds of fire: heavenly fire, and that's. Key. So if you want to do it with the sounds, those are what the sounds are. That's for building up. You, you, we need to maintain strength in our upper bodies, obviously. So this is one. You can do this if you have weights. After you get it down, you can put, put on weights on your arms, and you can do, do the whole thing. All right. We're going to do, we'll do a couple of, Stretching, we'll do uh, gather the sun to press the earth. This is to open up our chest. We're trying to build up some flexibility in our rib cage, plus make it so that we can breathe more deeply. So you're going to come up, you're going to gather the sun. You're going to look up, pull your shoulder blades together as you look up, expand your chest. Although you're breathing, you're breathing with your abdomen, but you're trying to open, get, get some flexibility in your rib cage, and then you're going to come back. Your hands are going to come back. We'll just do that movement. First part of the movement, breathe in. Hands come together. And then as we breathe out, we're going to pull our hands back to our kidneys. But as you do it, you pull your hands underneath your ribs. There's a liver meridian there. We're trying to stimulate. As long as we're moving, we might as well do something. So we're stimulating our internal organs, and we have our hands and our kidneys where we're supporting it. So we'll do that a few times. Breathe in. Breathe out. So this is gathering the sun. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, now we're going to go to the next part. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to Look up, arch our back, pull our shoulder blades together, but at the same time, we're going to lean forward. So you want your back arched. You're looking forward. Your back's arched. You should feel this. This is opening up our hamstrings. So you should go, if this is especially if you first time you've done it, first just go until you feel some tension on your ha hamstrings so your hands are still on your kidneys. So we're going we're gonna to breathe in. Pull down, and then now as you breathe out, your hands are going to go down the back of your legs. Right now, we'll just go to your knees, and, and we're going to breathe out. Now we're going to just hang loose here, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you pull your, bend your knees, and your hands come up, and we're back to where we started from. So we'll just go, you put your feet, for a little bit more st stability, if you want, you can put your feet a little bit apart. So we're going to breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, look forward, breathe out. Now you can drop your head, your hands go to your knees. Now we're going to hang here. So when you breathe in, we're actually trying to fill our body cavity. So we separate the vertebrae in our spine and then breathe out. We're going to come back up. And as long as we're pulling our hands up, that's right. We pull our hands under our liver, do that liver 14 meridian point and breathe out. Okay, so we'll do one more of these like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. This is called gathering the sun to press the earth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so now we're going to do a f just a few. So if you if you have any kind of blood pressure problems or dizziness problems, stay there. But actually what we're trying to do is press the earth. So you're going to come up, breathe in, 
Breathe out. Breathe in. Now stay with whatever you're comfortable, but you can breathe out. You can reach, go all the way down to the floor. Breathe out and then breathe in. Now bend your knees. Come back up. Breathe in. Rib cage flexibility, opening up, getting a lot of oxygen in. Breathe out. Activating our internal organs, supporting our kidneys. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stretching our hamstrings. Now stretching our entire, the entire, all the way down our body, the back of our legs. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Come up. Do one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come up. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll, we'll do a, a breathing. It's kind of like a meditation. It's uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come up. One hand comes up. We're reaching up. And we're stretching, our other hand is on our is below our navel, and we're gonna come down, our hand comes down straight down the middle of our body. This is like a meditation. You're breathing out, you're just pulling the calming energy down. You flip over, you're gonna breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, come up. Gather that energy, breathe out, let it wash down over you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, we'll do one more each side, breathe in. Feel your abdomen, breathe out, release. Breathe in once again, we're doing natural abdominal breathing. Breathe out. And the other thing is we do, we uh, pull down the heavens to enter and leave the practice room. So we're leaving now, so we're gonna pull up, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, gather the energy that we made, push it through our body. One more, breathe in, breathe out. And then we clap.